Welcome to this DaVinci Resolve Fusion Node Breakdown. Today's node is the False Color Node. So we're going to jump into Fusion and we've got some media. And what the False Color Node does is it replicates black magic camera readouts when you have the uh, false color selected. So uh, let's go ahead and add one. And yeah, I'm, this isn't B-Raw footage. It's just some stock footage, but I'm going to add a false color node and uh, let's look at what happens here. So right off the bat, this is meant to mimic specific black magic cameras in their readouts for false color. So up top we have two modes, which is specific camera model. So we can select which black magic camera it's only black magic cameras and we can select creative, but before we go to creative, we'll stick to specific camera model. And as a reminder, this is studio version only, and uh, it is a DaVinci Resolve plugin available with Infusion. But under our camera model, we can select what camera model we used. So any of our Blackmagic cameras, and it's not a full list because we're missing some, but maybe they'll update them later. We have what mode you were shooting in, whether it was film, video, or extended video, and the ISO you shot in. So we can change our ISO we are shooting in. And under camera model, we have pre-processing and it only gives you the option to blur. Under scale and legend, we can show or hide the scale. We can show or hide our values and we can show our labels off to the side as well. And under here, we can change the contrast of our little legend we can uh, select how much detail we're showing and we can change the value style, whether it's percentage, hundreds or normalized. So this just mimics Blackmagic cameras and uh, the readout for our false color that we often use. Now, if you want, have no reason to use this <laughs> to see your false color again, uh, it's also got a creative mode. So under creative mode, I'm going to minimize this first so we can see all that's happening. We can again, show or hide our scale, show the values, show our labels. All this stuff works the same as it did in our camera specific mode. Same with change in our style and pre-processing is almost the same and uh, let's go ahead and turn our scale off with the blur. But we can also change our black levels. We can change our white level. And we can change the gamma. And under color bands, this is where we actually change the look of our little creative false color thing here. So we have styles and under styles, we have how many bands we want. So we can add as many as we want. So we can minimize or add bands if we want. We can change our colors of our bands. So we can change our look right here. And if I select this show sliders, we get this top selection and it's not on the main one, but for our other colors, we get this top selection. And what this means is what our limit is for this color to be on top. So if I minimize it, it's going to change our limit for where that green is on top. But notice it's going to keep shifting because once we change this, it's changing our other values. So if I just hold it and go back and forth, you can see it's doing weird things. But we can go down to this one, and change our look if we want. So that's what that top means. Now under our creative style, we've got a few uh, quick ones. This is Jet. We can have our exposure guide, which looks just like our uh, normal uh, false color modes on our cameras. We've got low high clip. 
And again, with all these, we can change how many bands. We have five bands, 10 bands, night vision, thermal, and color temperature. And once you select one of your uh, creative styles, how many bands you want. Again, we can pre-process this. And there we go. We've got our weird false color creative look going on on our footage. So that is the false color node. I will see you in the next node breakdown.